It's the second day of the boys state tournament. Two of our area teams went head to head bright and early this morning. That's number three Chapmanville taking on six seeded Ravenswood. Ravenswood had a rough start scoring just five points in that first quarter and went into halftime down 30. Chapmanville 830 to 18 Chapmanville ball here time running down in the third quarter. Brody Dalton throws it to Saldine and Dean buries the three Chapmanville. Ravenswood was battling back hard in the fourth here. Matthew Cart dishes to an open Drew Hunt behind the arc. Hunt nails it 41 to 37. Chap in the fourth. Ravenswood Matt drives the lane. A sweet wraparound pass to Logan Alfred. Alfred laying it in. Chapmanville now down only two. Chapmanville would answer though. Saldine spins around at the top of the key here, just trying to fight back. Chapmanville back up by two or er, Raven. Yeah, Chapmanville back up by two possessions. Sorry guys and Ravenswood would not get any closer than three as the Tigers go on to win it 49 to 43. They're one of the best coach teams in the state. Uh, they got guys that have been here before and played in the state tournament and uh, you know, they 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 wasn't giving up easy. You know, we knew it was going to be a fight. Chapmanville the team. A good basketball team. Hurt us early. The Blevins kid, really very active, big man. He really got out early. I thought we did a pretty good job on Saldine and kept him going. And then 14, the kid that's going to West Virginia to catch, I wish he'd already left. He had uh, 14, <laughs> he had um, uh, 12 points on us, but it seemed like they were like six for nine. They were all right to rim. And, and he just played great and he really hurt us today. Chapmanville will now face Bluefield in the semifinals. Now the game after this morning one was that single A quarterfinal between Tucker County and East Hardy. The Mountain Lions winning it 77 to 51 and will face the winner of tonight's Tug Valley Wahama game. The Panthers and the White Falcons tip off at 715. Then Bluefield beat Wheeling Central to face Chapmanville. As I mentioned in those semifinals, that game will tip off Friday night at 715. Marshall